Hey everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel, the artificial trainer here with the WAN 2.2 release. We also have the update of the typical LoRa training tools. So I'm going to go through LoRa training for WAN 2.2 today, and I'm going to be using the tool that I built called Artificial Studio. It builds a UI on top of Diffusion Pipe. And that's just one piece of it. It also has ComfyUI built in, has Flux Gym built in. And if you need to learn how to install this, there's a link in the description below to the, to the YouTube video. Also, if you want to use a different tool, I'll link Misubi Tuner down below as well, which is another training tool capable of training LoRa's for WAN 2.2. So once you have Artificial Studio up and running, to install Diffusion Pipe, all you need to do is come over to this training tools, go to Diffusion Pipe in the drop down, and hit install. While it's installing, let's take a look at our data set. You're going to need a data set to start here. I'm not going to teach you how to build the data set. I have a video on creating consistent characters that I've done in the past. There's tons and tons of videos on YouTube about creating consistent AI characters if that's what you want, or just come up with images of yourself or one of your friends that gave you permission to use their likeness or something like that. So you're going to want all the images to be 512 by 512 in this case. That will give us a pretty high speed while we're training while also giving us good enough quality. And the one caveat here, so I am using images. I found especially with WAN 2.2, just training on images seems to really prevent a lot of movement. I have a feeling this is because of the high noise model. The high noise model is really dedicated to movement. And if your images don't have movement, it seems to really latch on to that. This training will go through, but I would recommend animating your images in something like cling or even one image to video, and then using 33 frames of those videos as inputs instead of using images. But as you'll see, images still give you likeness. They just don't have as much movement as I'd like to see. Okay, and then once you have your images, I'll link Joy Caption down in the description below, but that is what I like to use to create all of the captions. So all you need to do with Joy Caption is drag your image in and then select the options that you want here. I typically will use a 70 length caption, refer to the character by name, do not include information that cannot be changed, usually like lighting and camera angles so that these don't get locked down in the LoRa, keep it PG, do not use ambiguous language, and then I'll type the LoRa name in here. So this is gonna be Ethan with numbers to replace some of the letters. And then if you hit run or caption, it'll give you a caption. So just do that for, I'd recommend about 10 images and you'll have a, a good data set to start with that you can input into Diffusion Pipe. All right, so now that you have the Diffusion Pipe software installed through Artificial Studio, you can head over to the app links. One note, every time you want to run Diffusion Pipe, you have to hit, come over here and hit install. I don't run it by default just because it, we don't want more than is necessary running on our, our machines at the same time. It'll just slow it down. All right, so come over here, click the Diffusion Pipe UI, and then at the very top, we're gonna create a new data set. So I'm gonna call it Ethan YouTube. Click Create Data Set, and then select all your files and drag them in here. Next, we need to select the model that we want to train on. So we'll start with high noise. So click the high noise model and then hit download model. It'll start downloading. It takes a while to download. Um, if you have high internet speeds, probably takes somewhere around 20 to 30 minutes to download. If you have low, it may take longer than that. But once you have the high noise installed, it'll also install low noise for you and you'll get a, a status here once you're ready to train. Okay, all of these, I, I'd recommend keeping these settings as is. For the high noise model, you can keep the learning rate low. So I'd recommend keeping the learning rate around two, either minus five for 
the high noise model the high noise model learns extremely fast i think it's because of the it, it's really only learning motion and generally what your character looks like it's not trying to understand the specific details of what it looks like there's still a ton of noise when the high noise model finishes so it just has less to learn than the low noise model does for save every n epochs you can save every one you can save every two you can save every five it's just gonna fill up your machine with more loras to try if you do less epochs and then for lower rank you can do 32, 64, one of those is probably good. You can go up to 256, but probably overkill for most people. We'll stick with 64. And then for fr the rest of these, you can leave as is for frame buckets, turn it down to one because we're using images. If you are gonna train on videos, I'd recommend using 33 frames, in which case you would do 33 for your frame buckets. Okay, for resolution, I am doing 512 by 512. For num repeats, just do one. There's no reason to duplicate the data set. Miser type, Adam W, Optimi, Adam W are probably your two best options. I want to try to get Automagic running in this, but it's not quite running yet. So hold off on trying Automagic until you see some updates in the Artificial Studio GitHub page. And then for blocks to swap, you're probably best off just turning this all the way up, especially if you're using videos. If you're using images and you have like a 5090, you can definitely put this on zero. But if you just wanna be safe and make sure the training runs the first time, I would turn your block swap all the way up. Okay, and that is all the settings that we will need to run this. All right, so from there, just hit start training and you'll see the logs start to populate. So I will show you what it looks like once we know, once we see the training is working. All right, so the initializing torch backend in deep speed can take a long time sometimes. So just don't be concerned if it kind of sits here for like five minutes. Once you see the steps start going here, that means that the training is running and you can let this sit for a while. Once it's done, I'll come back and show you how to train the low noise model. For the high noise, I really only let it run for like 10 to 15 epochs. It doesn't seem to have a massive impact on the character Loras. If you're doing something more like motion where you want a consistent motion, I would, rec I would expect the high noise model to play a larger role and you might wanna be more careful with how many epochs you train. All right, so I trained 10 epochs and then I hit stop training here. And now I'm gonna go and train the low noise model. So for low noise, we need to go back to the model configuration. We're gonna use the same data set. We're gonna create a new data set just because it'll overwrite or it might overwrite your previous epochs if you don't. So just create a new data set to be safe then clear out the images from the image box upload the images to clear out the images you just hit this little x up here and then this time we're going to train the low noise model and i'm going to train with a slightly higher learning rate this time we'll do a 64 rank laura again make sure you turn the frame buckets down to one uh, we'll go with adam w optimi yep keep the block swap at 30 and you can actually go up to 40 with one i believe but keep it at 30 and then that should be good to train your low noise model so we just hit start training again oh oh i just missed the comma in the frame buckets start training all right and then the training is running for the low noise model now so artificial studio makes it really easy there's minimal install work you have to do once you have artificial studio up and running all right and there we can see the low noise model training so this one I would let run longer. You're probably gonna want somewhere around 60 epochs to test. And once you get to 60 epochs, you can stop the training, come back here, and then I'll show you how to run it in Comfy UI. The really nice thing about Artificial Studio is it gives you a built-in Comfy UI and it puts the Laura's, Laura models right in the Comfy UI folder. So you don't have to move them over to test it. They're just available right there. And I'll even show you how to force save a checkpoint, stop the training, 
go test the models and then if you're not happy you can resume from last checkpoint and keep the training going all right so to force save a checkpoint so that you can go test and then be able to resume when you come back all you do is you hit this force save checkpoint button and you'll see it it creates all these files here those are what lets you resume the training from that point so i'm going to stop the training and let's go test a couple the epochs that we've created so high noise versus low noise model this pink one is the high noise to be honest i don't even know if i this has been training correctly i'm getting like very immediate loss in the high noise model and i don't know if that's because it's images and the high noise model is controlling mostly motion but it the war that comes out seems to work so i haven't been too concerned with it the blue line is our low noise training which trained very well and we should be able to get something pretty good out of that so if we head up back to artificial studio the first thing you're going to want to do if you don't already use artificial studio is go in and install one 2.2 native this will give you both the text to video and image to video models so just check the box click download selected models and you'll be good to go with one 2.2 it'll probably take you know maybe 20 30 minutes to download if you need it if you don't want to use the comfy UI that's built in you just want to use your own comfy UI. you can go to jupiter go to comfy UI models laura's folder and you'll see your laura's in there so you can just download these as archives and put them into your local comfy environment all right but i am going to use the artificial studio comfy ui one other cool thing about artificial studio is it always keeps your comfy ui up to the latest version and you know you'll never have any issues with dependencies unless you download weird custom nodes because i always maintain the environment and I'm basically just sending you the environment that I use. I fix my dependency issues immediately, so you don't have to deal with all of that. All right, so in Artificial Studio, you have 122 workflows already there for you. So let's grab this one. And then I do have the Lightning LoRa's plugged in here. If you don't want to use them, you can bypass them, but you'll have to also turn up the CFG and the steps. I am going to use them here just for demonstration and testing purposes. I think it's really helpful. You can also download these Lightning LoRa's in the LightX to V LoRa's selection on Artificial Studio. So really simple prompt. We're just going to prompt for Ethan, a man with light skin and brown hair. And then as far as epochs, I typically select like epoch eight for the high one and then i start with around epoch 30 if i've trained 60 for the low one and then try to keep the strength on the model lower honestly the lower you can go while still keeping the likeness of your character is better because especially when using images because the image stillness will leak less into the video model but you'll still get pretty good likeness. All right, so let's just try it with this standard workflow. We're gonna go 832 by 480 just for, for speed purposes. All right, so kind of a weird generation with them doing this odd little dance and two of him appearing, but you can see it did work. It looks quite a bit like our character. Uh, the quality isn't great just cause I didn't really optimize. I was looking more for speed than I was for quality, but you can see it does look like him. I have the the Laura settings turned down right now as well to 0.7. So if I turn it up to one, we might cook it. All right, so there you go. You can see really, really solid likeness. So that is Laura training. Last thing I wanted to show you is if you aren't happy with how your Laura came out and you want to continue the training, as long as you saved that model state that I showed you, that checkpoint, all you need to do is hit resume from last checkpoint and then hit start training again. All right, you can see it loading the checkpoints and then it says resuming training from checkpoint. And you can do that for both the high and the low even after transferring to the low model, just go to the select existing data set 
and select your load data set. And then you can do the same thing, resume from last checkpoint, hit start training. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you don't wanna use Artificial Studio, check out the links in the description. I'll put other LoRa training tools that are available for one 2.2 LoRa's down there for all of you. If you have any trouble, head to the Discord. Happy to help out with training in the Discord. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can follow along for the fastest updates on how to use the latest AI tools. Follow me on my socials. I appreciate you watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next one.